41 and 0. Floyd Mayweather Jr. joining us here live on Sports Center. Considering your list of accomplishments in the ring, Floyd, how important is beating Victor Ortiz to you? Uh, it's very, very important. You know, Victor Ortiz is, of course, 10 years younger. Um, of course, this is titled Star Power. The fight is titled Star Power. Um, big puncher. Everybody, everybody, he has face. He has knocked down. So my thing is to go out there, keep my composure, and uh, stick to the game plan. And uh, I'm pretty sure Roger going to have an interesting game plan because, you know, he always do. Earlier this week, he had said that he did not he did not respect the 41-0 and record that you bring into this bout. He joined us here earlier on SportsCenter. I asked him to, to explain why he would feel that way, and here's what he said, Floyd. Mm -hmm. I don't respect the number 41-0 and because you go back and you do the homework and the research. Uh, like I, it just goes back to every fighter he's fought. They're either not as talented in the skill level or they're not as uh, – as up to par in, in the age group, you know, so I'm not fond of that. Um, never have been. Since I was nine, I always said I'd fight Floyd and beat him one day. And the day is this Saturday. Floyd, how do you respond to that? Well, everybody's entitled. Every fighter is entitled to their own opinion. Uh, my job is to go out there, entertain the fans, and get a fan's excitement. Um, I've been here before. I've been here for 16 years dominating the sport of boxing. And um, I know what I have to do. How could someone not respect the number 41 and 0, Floyd? <laughs> well, you know, he's young. He's young. He's never been He's never been on this level. He's never been on this plateau. Uh, I think this is something new for him. This is a new experience for him. And, um, you know, come Saturday, I'll be the same Floyd Mayweather, but I'm coming straight ahead, of course. Uh, you know, the fans want um, a toe-to-toe -to -toe brawl on this go-around. And uh, I think I'm the smarter fighter, um, the hungrier fighter. And um, everybody asks me, uh, when, I'm, when is Floyd Mayweather going to retire? I'm here to stay for a little while. Well, we'll get to that in a moment because you are 34, not old by any stage. But I want to get to that for a moment. I want to get back to, <laughs> to, to the way you are in the ring. This is what one of our experts wrote in previewing this fight. He said, among the five reasons that you're going to win is that you allow the illusion to your opponent that he's in control of the fight. How close to reality is that? Well, I think um, fighters approach it in, in two different ways. Either they come out, everybody um, game plan is to come out, apply a lot of pressure, or come out and, and, and start off strong, but don't finish strong. Um, uh, I think when you approach a fight of this magnitude, you must have a, a very, very sharp mind, and you must be, you must be hungry. I mean, to accomp I mean, my accomplishments is, is unbelievable, but like I said before, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it without my Uncle Roger. Uh, the fans, but um, Saturday night we're going to get a fan of blood, sweat, and tears. And you are able to get to people before the fights as well. You're a world-class trash talker. We know that. And in recent days, <laughs> you have questioned many things, including the validity of Ortiz's claims that his father had abandoned him when he was a kid. Why even go there with Victor Ortiz? I mean, I mean, the, truth, the, the proof is in the pudding. You know, Ortiz's mother, she did leave, leave him and his, his brother uh, before. I mean, it's one minute... We're in the fight business. He, I guess, he want people to feel sorry for him. And if his mother, if his mother left, you know, that's that's not a good thing. But I mean, uh, in a in a black community and in the urban areas, we've been through everything. That's all I'm saying. Um, his father didn't leave him, but if that's the story that he want he wants to sell on HBO 24/7, and so be it. All right, we'll see what happens in the ring. 34, undefeated. You're not old here. But you're fighting a guy who's a contender who's 10 years younger than you. How much longer do you the want champ, to do this? Um, I'm really not sure. You know, um, I just want to put uh, a couple of more extra notches, you know, on my Hall of Fame. On, on a few, uh, on, you know, they say I'm a future Hall of Famer. You know, I keep my fingers crossed. And hopefully someday I go down as, you know, as the best fighter to ever live. Can you leave this game without ever having had the fight that everybody wants to see against Manny Pacquiao? Uh, the thing is this, um, I'm, like I said before, um, I represent the red, white, and blue, which is America. I've, I believe in playing on an even playing field. That's it. I never duck or dodge anyone. And, um, you know, uh, Manny Pacquiao is with Bob Arum. Uh, Antonio Margarita is with Bob Arum. And every time, you know, when I was a fighter under the top rank banner, when I was a fighter with top rank, Bob Arum said, is saying the same thing about, he said the same thing about me that he said about Manny Pacquiao now. Bob Aram said when Floyd Mayweather 
Floyd Mayweather is, is the best fighter that I've ever seen, hands down. Now, all of a sudden, I leave and become my own promoter and my own boss. And he said, you know what? He's ducking Antonio Margarita. He's ducking Manny Pacquiao. All I'm saying is I want to be on an even playing field. And I'm not just saying one guy has to take the random blood and urine. Um, Victor Ortiz is doing it. Um, Shane Mosley is doing it. And I'm also doing it. I'm, I'm also participating. So I'm not just picking on one guy. If you do get what you want, though, personally, do you want to fight Manny Pacquiao? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, we'll let you go with this. Give us a preview of this fight. you got to win this one first before we get to that. How does the weekend go um, down? Uh, how the weekend go down? If I tell you that, then nobody was, nobody's going to buy a pay-per-view. They will anyway, Floyd. Uh, how are you going to beat them? <laughs> um, it's going to be an interesting fight. You know, this kid is young. He's strong. He's hungry. Uh, me, myself, just a lot of experience, you know, being around the sport. Um, getting to this level was, was a roller coaster ride, but I'm here now. And I've been here for a very, very long time, and um, um, I don't want no, I don't want no one to knock me off the throne. So I must go out there and be at my best. Been a long time since we see you. Nice to have you back, Floyd Money Mayweather, putting Thank his you. forty-one and zero record on the line this weekend against Victor Ortiz in Las Vegas. Good luck this weekend, and thanks for joining us today here on Sports Center. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.